would love to find some tracks for those little cubs in shadow, but alas, we've been a bit sidetracked by a little baby of a different kind, and you can see the little zebra baby running down the airstrip here. Very, very cute, it's full of energy. Now, there's also one that's busy rolling on its back there, so it looks like mom was having a good roll. So, oh, the little one is having a great game, look at that. So they often are like this when there's been a bit of cool weather. They have so much energy because it's not as hot, and so you often find them running around and darting off and then running back to mom. So lots and lots of playful energy in the mornings with little baby zebras. And this is quite a nice group of zebra. I haven't seen too many recently. It's been they've been a bit few and far between. Oh, more zebras come running down. Oopsie, got to be a bit careful on the tar. The tar gets a little bit slippery, so that's why there was brakes applied quite quickly there. And you can see they were trying not to slip as they came over. So funny enough, that's why predators will often hunt around airstrips, is that they know full well that they can chase these hoofed animals across this tar, and the tar becomes very slippery, particularly if there's been a bit of rain, and they use it to their advantage, particularly with things like giraffe. They'll try and hunt giraffe on tarred areas, and you see it's a lot in the Kruger National Park where we've got tarred roads. The lions will chase the giraffe over, and the giraffe then slips, and you often find the lions on these giraffe kills on the road itself. So it's because of the slipperiness of the surface. And look at this little one, is loving life. Amazing. So you can see there's lots of interaction as well. Zebras are very social animals. They they very tight knit units. You can see the little one having a bit of a suckle there. Now that little one's getting a bit big to be suckling. I'm sure fairly shortly mom is going to start denying it milk and keeping it away from it. Um, that one should be almost weaned by now. They normally are weaned at about six to eight months they are really starting to go off the the milk and that one is probably about that age maybe a little bit older closer to a year so you can hear that lapwings are not very happy with all the commotion between the zebras and the impalas they are not impressed that there's all this traffic this morning you'll find that these zebras are also here because you can see on the other side of that runway where they're all standing is the grass is really short so because the planes that land here they have to keep the grass short on the sides in case the plane goes off the runway and it can then at least negotiate the area and that short grass is absolutely perfect for zebras they love short grass like this it's also much more open so they can see any sign of a predator should there be a predator around so that's why they're here they've come in and they've made use of man's doing to have a better environment than what is around them at the moment. This is, a, like I say, a really nice group of them. I haven't seen such a large group of zebra in quite a while. So nice to see them. And there will be one dominant male in that group, and the rest of that is all his females. So that's his harem of females, and he is going to be very, very protective of that. If another male comes into this area, there will be full-out warfare for those females. He won't tolerate another male at all, and that's because he knows in this particular section that we're in there's not that many females around so if another male comes and steals his females he's going to have a tough time to find his own females so you'll find that they bond really tightly and he'll try and keep other males away as much as possible 